We're back to the Neil Haley Show on the Total Celebrity segment, and I'm excited to welcome the program Tom Cavanaugh of CW's The Flash. Tom, thanks for calling. But, Tom, I'm going to tell you I'm a huge fan of Scrubs. Yeah. I loved you in Scrubs, Tom, and you were just so funny the way you yeah. uh, played all those jokes and different things. It was just a, it's a character that I'm sure you'll never forget, will you, the one when you played in Scrubs? Uh, yeah, I, that, Scrubs is one of the all-time you know, great shows that have been a part of. Like, I consider you know, it's kind of a head shaker. It's like, oh, man, you got a chance to do that. And that was like, both from within, you know, the way that show was run and how they treated the cast and the crew, you know, to like how it appeared on the screen where it was like this, you know, like a very inventive, funny... It's one of the things I love about Scrubs. Like, they would make you laugh for 21 minutes, just yeah. laugh uncontrollably, and then in the 23rd and 24th minute, they'd break your heart. Yes. You know? And then in the 25th and 26th moment, they'd make you laugh again. You know, like, not every show has the ability to do that. You know, to, a lot of shows can make you laugh, but not not all of them can, has that kind of deft writing that also can make you cry. And I think Scrubs is one of those rare things. I'm really, really happy to have been a part of it. And the funny thing, Tom, is you'll live on forever just in on Scrubs because, you know, it'll constantly be syndicated. It just it just uh, continue to be aired. Yeah, all, I know. It's yeah. like uh, yeah, every time you turn on Comedy Central, or whatever, there's like there they are again. It's great. For sure. Now, this opportunity with CW is the Flash. I mean, again, what's amazing is the superhero shows, how popular they're becoming in this day and age, and especially on the CW. And uh, it must be an unbelievable fan base to be part of to be on this show. And and hated, I'm sure, as the villain. It's weird, right? It's, 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 uh, for me personally, it's un- unexpected. You know, as a, a lot of times, you know, I, 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 I don't lose track of the fact that, you know, this is, when you say superhero shows, it, it kind of seemed like it used to be like, you know, the dominion of big screen because they were just too expensive to do on a small screen. And now in the last seven to ten years, you know, we've had the technological advances that we can actually put these kind of digital effects and all these kind of things on the small screen. They're now economically feasible, whereas they never used to be. And now, you know, to be an actor that, you know, plays the reverse Flash in, in the case of the Flash and plays an arch enemy, which has existed in the, you know, in the comic book world for decades and decades, to be, you know, one of the, one of the you know, very few actors that gets to put on a super suit and check that box, I think that's a, you know, I, I think it's, it's something that I, I understand that it's a, a match of privilege and it's a rarity. And I, I'm, I'm really grateful for it. It's completely unexpected opportunity. You know, it's not something I ever thought would happen, you know, and just, you know, just, just to put on that suit, you know, and be one of, one of those guys. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are, Tom. It's something that is, you live on. I talked about living on in Scrubs. You'll live on as that villain forever, especially because of the comic book. The comic book, and now the books. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Yeah. I never thought it would be that far-reaching thing, but nowadays these people, like, you know, they just seem to to know about it. You know, there's like they they have there's these conventions, and people are are well aware of like it's a much 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 far-reaching and bigger world than I, I ever understood. You know, I kind of grew up as a you know a Batman comic book guy and considered myself to be a relatively knowledgeable comic book person until I entered this world and realized I was a complete neophyte. I didn't know anything compared to <laughs> the rest of knowledge that these fans have. You know what I mean? You just guys say, oh, I'm dumb. I didn't know I was that dumb. You know, but that, what's nice about that world is even for someone who's relatively unintelligent about the stuff like I am, and Jesse L. Martin, who plays Joe West on our show, we talk about this all the time. We're like, you know, even though you're staggeringly inept compared to their breadth of knowledge, they're so welcoming. You know, they're, they're, they're grateful to have something that, you know, for decades has been their go-to show. They're, they're really grateful to have that, have a broader scope and to be branded a little bit in a bigger way because, you know, what, what's good for comic books in general is good for them. And, and, and uh, to, to watch them be so supportive, it's, it's, I have to say it's relatively surprising and it's great. It's fantastic. It's something. And that's what I talk about the fan base. So someday when the show ends, if it ever does because of the fan base, you'll never know. You're going to be at uh, conventions for the rest of your life. You know that, Tom, because they just, they just, they, yeah. they eat it up. That's, that's cool for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, it really is cool. That's a good way, that's a good way to describe it. It is cool. <laughs> exactly. All right, so let's jump into specifically, and what, you're directing one of the uh, episodes. So what made you go into the directing end of things? And I also know you have a short film, so you're really being the jack of all trades in this business now, it sounds like. Yeah, I like, I mean, you know, as an actor, I think that when you often, for my case anyway, I shouldn't talk for other people, but my case was always like, you know, you know, you kind of like, I watched with Grant Gustin, who plays The Flash, you kind of hanker down and do the best job you can for that specific character and try and tell that specific character's story the best you can. But as you as you progress, you kind of like, oh, I don't just have to tell this one person's story. I could tell everybody's story. And that's kind of what directing is. You know, you're, you know, I, I'm in the show, so I'm telling my story. But when I direct, it's like, okay, I'm also going to tell all these other people's story, you know, with, with their help, you know, and I think that, I think that's one of the wonderful things about the directing is you have authorship over a few more of the stories, you know, and you get to like, if you see it a certain way, this is your opportunity to, to show how you see it. And it, it's, it, I, I, I love doing it. You know, one of the things about directing is the more, you know, the more you need to know, and it keeps you humble that way, you know, because there's never one right way to tell a story, you know, like your version of how this, story gets told is probably very different from mine you know and no not one version is better than the other and so that's that's part of the creative process i i like that you're trying like okay what's the best way how do i see it you know like what's uh, what's what's the best way to to tell the story and then with tom and grant it's very different from like the flash is you know it's got heart and spectacle and you know incredible amount of you know like uh special effects humor and action and tom and grant is a very small, um, R-rated, dark, <laughs> bank heist movie. <laughs> you know, it's like, in The Flash, the people are generally, I would say, good and, and winning. And in Tom and Grant, this is about, like, these unbelievably dumb guys who, and this is very appealing to me personally, they're, they're really dumb guys who think they're really smart guys. I kind of find there's something about the Ricky Gervais, Ricky Gervais in The Office, or Steve Crow in The Office, like, these guys who are, like, really dumb. But they think they're really smart, and they're going to go rob a bank, and they're the most inept dudes ever to do yes. that. Like to me, there's something very appealing about it, and it has like car chases and blood and gunfights and heist, and it's just you know, it's a, it's a. These dumb guys are very, very different characters from the characters Grant and I play on the Flash, and I think that you know, the people who like the Flash and, and also other people, you know, will, will, will get a kick out of a kick out of it. It's got music and uh, <laughs> political message and. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, it's a lot of stuff packed into a very short period of time. It sounds like Tom, your character in Scrubs and Ed kind of combined to, to show like the goofiness that yeah. you were, and now you're making other people look that goofy, right? That's what you did, the practical Joker on Scrubs, and now you're making these other characters be practical jokers by saying, "Hey, you're too, you're smart, but you can't rob a bank." So that that's awesome. Uh, so again, exactly you, right. Yeah. Exactly. You should be a publicist. That's a good way of putting it. Hey, I, you know, I, 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 that, that's one of my things. I mean, I do, uh, I do social media and branding for companies and different things like that. So I understand about promotion. All right. So oh, Tom, yeah. yeah so well, it's cut to the chase very well there, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom. So again, CW is the flash is on Tuesdays at uh, 8 PM Eastern, but also we can find information on you and about your short film and stuff like that. Where's the best place we can go? You know, we have a, a website, and we have, like, the Twitter handle uh, uh, at Tom at Tom and Grant, and both of the news about it is going to be easy, easily followed both on, like, uh, my Instagram and Twitter handles, which is uh, at Kavanaugh Tom, or Grant Gustin's, which is at Grant Gust. Um, and so I think, you know, like, those, we're always going to be trumpeting, <laughs> you know, the Tom and Grant, you know, ballyhoo from, uh, from those, podium so yeah you can you can find us there and we'll uh, keep people abreast of what's happening so i'll run the show one time it's promoting tom and grant and another time promoting the flash so i can so we can hit hit both areas okay sound good tom that's exactly right all right well thanks for calling take care and thanks for coming on the show appreciate it yeah thanks so much thanks for having me on take care all right see ya okay bye-bye you're listening to neil haley's show and we'll be back in just a moment